All right, it's Thursday, and you know whenever it's Thursday, it's our art day. We have Aditoro Debas, a visionary Nigerian artist who is known for his unique fusion of traditional and, of course, digital painting, showcasing Africa's rich cultural heritage. Of course, he draws inspiration from African stories to create captivating artwork that blends abstract and figurative elements. It's great to have you. You're welcome, Aditoro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love, what, what, what's with you? What's the inspiration behind the look, by the way? Um, this was inspired by, um, it's accidental one. Okay. Yeah. But along the line, I fell in love with it, whether, whereby attending galleries or show. Okay. So I begin to see that people begin to relate with my, um, dressing. Okay. So I have to stick with it. Okay. I Wonderful. Guess. I like the beads, by the way. Oh, thank uh, you. What kind of beads are those? Um, this is made from wood. Oh, made from yeah. wood? Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, so now let's talk about you, what you do. You, you do traditional and you do digital and all of that. How, uh, which did you start first? How did you get to uh, start doing both of them? Okay. Um, traditional art has been the starting. It has been the form of art I found myself. So along the line, I discovered digital art whereby I just get a small PC to start with, you know, since it's becoming the new revolution of art. Mm. So I decided to get a PC for myself and I start with something. But basically, I found myself doing traditionally. Mm. Okay. All right. Now, uh, 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 there, there's been talk about digital art, how it takes away from the real art form, from the work that is involved and how I mean that you are just prompting a software. It's something that could just, you know, anybody can do. You can prompt a software to give you some sort of, you put in some sort of parameters and software just brings it out. What is, what, what, what is, uh, let's talk about how, what is digital art? Let's, let's clear it there. What exactly is it? Is it that easy to do? Is it something anybody can do? Okay. What is digital art? Oh, I would say digital art is a form of art that is being done with, uh, with an electronics. So, Digital art can, can never be traditional art. It has to be something done ele with electronics. So, and I would say you are trying to talk on AI. Mm. AI will never take the place of creating artwork digitally because I believe AI is still limited. Mm. Yeah, it's still limited. And my own form of art, I don't think is what AI will even create. Mm. Yes. You think I so? I think I know so. Hmm. Unless, unless maybe there will be a way around that, but presently I don't think AI will ever generate my work. Okay. Let's talk about the works now. Talking about your works, let's talk okay. about what you have here. Let's start with this one right in front of you. What's it, what's it name and uh, tell, me, tell me about it. This particular one, I title it Emotion. Emotion? Yeah. Okay. So it's a, it's a broad stroke painting and this mm -hmm. is one of my digital arts. Okay. Yes. So, um... The beautiful thing about my digital art is that I try replicating it like a traditional piece. Mm. So whereby it gives the conviction where when people stare at it, they will be like, is it a traditional piece or digital piece? So that has been one unique thing my digital art has been giving me. Mm. So, and this one was inspired by a lady, you know, she was feeling, I don't know, maybe she was feeling down. So. I just capture the moments and I paint mm -hmm. it digitally. Paint it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's talk about this one beside me here. This is quite beautiful. You you it's like you spend you do more you do more of ladies. You, you why why do you why why so? Yeah. I in my society or the environment I found myself, ladies surround me, okay. and if you look at the world we lived in, women are more unique. Mm. Yeah. And I try to push their voice to be held held okay. outside there. You know, and even the way God has created the females, they are more sweet in figurative <laughs> way. <laughs> so I venture okay. into that. All right. So let's talk about this one. Quite, this is quite a beautiful piece here that I can see. And uh, the lady looks uh, quite amazing. Well, what's the name and uh, what are you trying to depict here? What's the story? Okay, I titled that Embracing My Heritage. Embracing My Heritage. Yes. So the lady, I use that in capturing um, a black heritage. That is why it's even painted in black mm. color. So I use that in capturing a black heritage. So 
is embracing the heritage like my culture. Hmm. Yeah. And and that is where that is where you draw inspiration for a lot of your works. They are cultural and all of that. Yes. Yeah? And culture, identity, empathy, and love. What does art do to you as a person? Art is a way of life. Art has been art is that is not what I find myself doing accidentally or doing at a stage of my life. I do say something like, I started drawing before I was born. Hmm. So it, and it's an art artistic word. So what uh, I Just before you go on that, you have a young kid here. Let me just, let's talk about this particular one that just passed. The young kid, as though the kid was eating there, struck okay. me quite nice. Well, well, what's that about? And this one also. You also have some paintings of some uh, children here. What are, what are you trying to depict with all yeah, of that? I'm trying to, I represent that with, um, I worked. It's a long time painting. Okay. And um, I just want the girl is looking up. She's writing in on her yeah, book, on a book, and then she's okay, looking up it's to from something. It's my series, Unforeseen. Unforeseen. Yeah, whereby okay. they don't know what tomorrow tells. Looking at this now, the the lady is the baby girl is looking up. Mm. Don't know what tomorrow tells. Why mm. she's trying to study out things with a candle. With I like candle that. I like that painting. Is that digital? Is painted digitally as well. It's painted digitally. Okay, so you were talking about uh, what art does to you. So you said since you've been painting for since you were born. So I started painting before I was born. Before you were born. So it's an artistic word. What I mean by that is that I art is not what I found myself doing at the age of ten, five or so. I've been doing art at a younger at a young okay. age. Oh, okay. So is it professional that, for you? Are you making money from it now? Yes, I'm okay. making money both locally and internationally. If you were not making money, would you still do art? I would have been a, a therapist if I'm not making money from art. Mm, therapist, would you yeah. still be doing art? Yes. You would still do I art? I would still do art because it's a way of life for me and it's a way to release myself from anything at all I'm going through. Mm. I like yeah. that. So you just put, pull out of yourself and get yourself into that and all of no that. No matter what I'm going through. Right, you spoke about series and all of that. You've, you've had, have you had any solo exhibitions or uh, collaborative uh, ex exhibitions? Yeah, I've only engaged myself in group exhibition, which is collaborative exhibition, yeah. and I'm planning towards my solo exhibition. Okay, when, when is that? When are you planning for One that? will be coming up in November. Oh, no, oh, it's quite close in, here. Yeah, yeah, in Abuja. That will be your first solo exhibition? Yes. Oh, wonderful. What's the title? Just tell us a bit about it's it. A, the title of the exhibition will be Bond of Solace. Okay. Where we are to be preaching the art of love and empathy. Okay. What makes, I just want to run over this question, what makes an art piece valuable? Is it, is it, is it age? Is it, uh, is it the skill of the artist? What, what, really, what really makes an art piece valuable? What makes an art valuable? Anyway, that can be told maybe to the, due to the process of an artist mm. or progress. So, <clears throat> due to the process of an artist or progress of an artist. And what it means to put that art piece together. Yeah, so oh, okay. it's a process thing. It's not what you can determine in a, in a short time. All so, right, wonderful. You know, what you do continuously then I think the value will speak. Speak for itself. Right. Well done. Uh, this, is, uh, this is us here wishing you the best for your exhibition in November. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, so let's move over to another artist who uh, is painting on the canvas, but the canvas this time is the kitchen and all of that.